Okay, Christine. That's what he said. Well, I just don't know where to begin. How about uh, telling him how you start? Oh, well, anytime anyone would put on the radio, I would just get up and start dancing. That's what my mother always said. Oh, yeah, and this man came around one day selling. Lessons? Right, he was terrific sales, and I will never forget it. He put me up against his television set, you know, one of those great big square things, took my foot, touched the back of my head, and said, This little girl be a star! Well, I wasn't sure if it was the look on my face or the fact that I wouldn't let go of his life. But my mother's how much it meant to me. I mean, I watched everything on television that I danced on it, especially this one show. Every Sunday, it was. That's all right. Just take a minute and pull yourself together. Uh huh. This is together. <laughs> He's right. But I mean, I always knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to like be all those people in the movies. Though it's funny because I never wanted to be Ann Miller. I wanted to be Doris Day. <laughs> Except I had this one tiny problem. See, I couldn't really sing, I could never really sing, but I couldn't do it. Sing. I had trouble with it. No. It was all around my head. It's a tear of mine. See, I couldn't really hear which note was lower or was higher. Which is why it's the fear if someone said, let's start on quiet. And when I began to shriek at the cross between a and a quiver or a more. It's a little like a for the record player. But it doesn't have it.
the doctor down the block. Sure enough, acute appendicitis. They rushed me right to the hospital. Well, I figured this book would cover everything the rest of my life. And when I was 13, I had my first wet dream. I went right to the book. Milky discharge, milky discharge. Gonorrhea! I was in shock, I mean, gonorrhea! Before I even started, I was terrified. I said to my mother, I had gonorrhea. So, the book said, drink a lot of water. Is that all the book said? No, it said take penicillin, streptocillin, I don't know. But I couldn't do that unless I told someone. So all I can do is drink the water. And I drank like 20 glasses a day for three weeks. I almost drowned. Finally, I went to confession and told the priest I had gonorrhea. Well, he was in shock too. Who had me with my son? No one. No one. Then how can you have gonorrhea? about the book's diagnosis of monkey discharge, and he sent me straight. It's the only time the church ever helped me out. Oh, and I was a really confused 